to Linda's Real Deal Talk Show. Today is a special episode. Today, you will get to know my cousin who lives in Dallas. She will share her life experience with us. And this is really special to me and I really appreciate her sharing her time and her life and her support with me. So I want to welcome Carol Reese to Linda's Real Deal Talk Show. So let's give Carol Reese a big, warm welcome. <laughs> Carol, all the way from Houston, Texas. Not Houston. Oh, Carol. It's all Denton, the... Texas, Aubrey, Texas, or Denton. All the way from Aubrey, Texas. Aubrey, Texas. Uh -huh. Aubrey, Texas. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. And why are you here? I'm here for my class reunion. We all celebrated being 60, turning 65. I haven't turned 65 yet, but I will turn 65 this week. And also our 47th reunion that we didn't get a chance to have because of COVID. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So glad, the, then I'm glad you have the reunion because now I get to busy with you because I don't get to see you very much. I know. And We're both busy. I know. Uh -huh. it's busy. So this is a special time for me. What would you like to share with the audience? A little bit about your background of growing up. Well, I grew up in Kansas City, Missouri. Born and raised. Um, went Graduated from Southeast High School in 1975. Um, went to college for a little while. Got some courses that I needed. <laughs> uh, started in the medical field really when I was 16. Okay. I started there working in the pharmacy. Went from the pharmacy to medical records. Went from medical records to uh, working at John Knox Village in the Alzheimer's unit as an aide. Moved to Dallas, Texas worked in the hospital as a front desk, um, what do we call it, patient care coordinator. Went from patient care coordinator to billing and insurance with glaucoma doctors, and I've been there 23 years. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Done. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Came up the ranks. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got a promotion, right? I'm now working at home. I'm still in building and insurance, okay. but doing really good. Oh, great. <laughs> so tell us how many siblings do we have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> interesting uh, story. <laughs> I know, it's really interesting. Okay, so with my mother, there is seven of us. There's three girls. Oh, wait, is, is it? It's, no, it's six. Six girls. Uh, yeah, no, it's six. Three girls and three boys, I believe. Yeah, three girls and three boys. Okay. No, it's seven. Three girls and four boys. Oh. No, wait a minute. I don't even know how many siblings I have. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, Kevin, Chris, Julie, Johnny. No, it's four girls. Me and Christina. It's four girls and three boys, seven kids. Oh, wow. With my father, all together is 16 of us. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's 16 of us, and we are all, we, they're here in Kansas City. Some, well, some is some are in Kansas City, one's in Atlanta, but we still all are very close-knit. See, that's good. Mm-hmm, close-knit. We, we have our annual Thompson yeah. get-together mm -hmm. every year. That's so. wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that just brings back memories of the recent, the Reese yeah, get together, really, right? That was really good. Uh -huh. was really the Reese wonderful. get together. Uh huh. That was nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm looking forward to a, another Reese. Yes, reunion because we reunion. did have fun. Yes. yes, we did have fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, the time is going by so fast. I know. We yeah, got to do it quick. Do it quick because we're all getting older. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what are your goals and aspirations? Well, right now, I have a plan. <laughs> Right now, uh, 
Uh, of course, I'm close to my retirement age, so I'm trying to set myself up. So right now, the house that I'm in, I'm trying to pay it off. So eventually, if I have to move out, it can become a rental unit. So that still gives me income. Um, I want to be financially stable, you know, continue. Right now, I'm good, but I want that continuous financial stability. Yes. So that's what I'm working on now. Yes. Okay. Love that. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what legacy do you want to leave for your kids? I want my kids to never give up. My kids are very smart. They're very smart. They are, they, um, one thing they got from me was their work ethics. But their work ethics and also I want them to be, do more, do more than what I'm doing. And they are. Yes. You know, I have a teacher. I have one that, I, I don't know, she wears a lot of hats. But she's doing very well. She's in Seattle. I have a son that's basically self-employed. He, he contracts trucks. He's everywhere. And they're all doing well. And I want them to continue to do well. Yes. I want them to pay attention to their, um, what I want to say. I want them to pay attention to the moves that they, they make and make sure the moves are in their best interest. And I want them to make sure that the moves that they make take them to another level. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as uh, mothers, parents, we always want the best for our kids. Yes. I think uh, having children is a blessing. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't seem like it, but in the long run, when you look at it, you say, oh my goodness, I'm so proud mm -hmm. of my children. Mm -hmm. They've come a, a long way. And not only that, if you're watching your kids and you're seeing the things that they're doing and you see that they're doing right, you notice their kids and their kids pick up and do what they see. And I have a granddaughter right now that she scares me. <laughs> she scares me because she is smart and she's got this plan in her head and she's going to succeed because she's focused and she she's watched everybody around her. So she knows she knows that she's doing it. I just want them to keep doing what they're doing. I want them to be successful. Yes. And I just, I, I just wish the best for them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do too. I wish the best for my kids also. Mm-hmm. But have you also noticed that your kids' relationship changes when they get older? They change with interacting with each other and they change interacting with the parents too. That changes also. But it's it's good. It's very good. It's good. <laughs> it, it's good. Cause it, it is very good. Mm -hmm. Cause I enjoy it. Yes, I enjoy it now. Mm -hmm. Cause they even came back with soft hearts saying, oh, mom, I'm so sorry what we did when we were younger. Mm -hmm. Didn't understand what you were telling us, but now we do. Mm -hmm. And that's just so refreshing mm -hmm. to, to see their soft heart and they understand that what I was trying to tell them was for their good. Yeah, I love the conversations with my kids now. I do. I love them. And sometimes they have me cracking up, but it's, it's a good conversation. Yes. Children are, are a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So never give up on your children. So in conclusion, what would you like to, what encouraging words would you like to share with the audience? Um, I'm going to say one thing that grandmama used to say to us, to always keep in the back of your head, one second can mess up your whole life. She said it only takes a second to mess it up. She said it takes a lifetime to keep it straight. Oh. Yeah. She used to tell me that all the time. I like that. Mm hmm Okay, say it again. Because I really like one that. One second can mess up your life. Mm -hmm. But it takes a lifetime to get it right. To get it right. Mm-hmm. Yes. She would say little things like that. And it always sticks in the back of my head. Yes. So if you think you're going to make a mistake, think about it. Think about it. Because when you make that mistake, that can mess up your whole life. Good advice. Mm -hmm. 
All right, audience. So what do you think? Yes. Number one, never give up on your dreams and goals. Number two, love your children. Mm -hmm. And number three, love yourself too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three, love yourself. Mm -hmm. Dream big and remember that anything is possible. And I just want to say thank you so very much for being on Linda's Real Deal Talk Show. Today was an intimate conversation with my cousin. So stay tuned for some more intimate conversations with my family members. And in the meantime, stay real. Thank you.